Hey Furious fans, this is Golden, just wanting to show you a little bit about what I do to process images. Uh, I've got an image here of Dan Francis that's open and ready to go. This is the raw file, so it's straight out of camera, um, no editing yet done. Um, as you can see, uh, Dan really doesn't need much cleanup at all. Um, so what, what, what I would normally do is go in and use the healing brush and anything to get rid of any blemishes that need to be gotten rid of things along that line um, but since there's not much here um, I'll just kind of demonstrate a little bit though gotta go to the healing brush option um, and what we'll do is add a layer and go from there as you can see it just touches things up as needed um, after I've done this what I will do is head over to the eyes uh, once I've done that and do some eye adjustments um, with some curves layers and once I've done that we can actually paint the eyes in a little bit another layer just to kind of brighten things a bit and then lower the opacity down accordingly to where we think it looks good from there if need be to, to enhance any features there may be some um, some curves adjustments to the background and or person um, just depending on the final look that we're going for but um, again this image is pretty good as is so we're not going to need that um, generally then I go through and I'll do a warming just to kind of give it that traditional golden hue <laughs> that everybody's familiar with um, and from there also apply a sunshine layer which will um, get really bright here in a second once it's actually done doing its thing it's a series of steps I've gotten in action that will kind of add this little effect here. Um, once it's there, I drop the warmness down a little bit because it's a little, it's a little bright, um, and then use a gradient mask that's set on elliptical. And from there, what we can do is just kind of mask out what we want to be bright and just do some various adjustments to see where we get it. I like it a lot. From there, there's a lot of green in the shot, so I want to deepen the greens. I'll take some curves adjustments and deepen the greens, utilizing those. Um, when you open up the curves, you can select the channel, uh, red, green, or blue. From there, what you can do is adjust the green up and then the other colors down as needed. As you can see, a little bit of pop there, showing you the difference with the greens. And then we'll just add a little bit of a warming filter overall to just bring it in just to make it that little bit more inviting. So as you can see, this is the image now. That's where we started. As you can see, boom, boom, boom. Awesome. I also want to create a little bit of ambience with the uh, mats. And so once those mats are in place, um, you'll, you'll see the image has a, a higher quality look, I think. Um, but first, before I do that, I'm going to add a little bit of extra light coming in on this side. Continue just to add that in a bit. And from there, also, we're going to do the mat. Got all these set up as actions. It makes the workflow go a lot, lot faster. Um, as you can see here, and we'll just kind of do another gradient layer until we kind of get it where we like it. I may just add another one, duplicate that whole layer, and just pop it over here, just to kind of even it out a bit and see how that looks. Perfect. Once that's done, um, got the mats in place, seeing if I've forgotten any steps. I like to apply a uh, thing I call boosted color, which what it'll do is it'll make the image pop a little more by bringing out the foreground, darkening the edges a little bit getting a little bit of burn, uh, kind of as a vignette. Once it's done processing, you'll kind of see the difference here. Uh, and from there, let's see, boom, adds a little bit of a pop. I'm gonna drop the boost down a little bit though, and increase a little bit of the edging, like so. Um, what I'll do now is really just go in and add the watermark, which everybody's familiar with. Uh, got it as a separate file, and what we do is just paste it in scale it appropriately and pop it in where it will be visible 
and there we are. We've got another fantastic Furious image ready to go.